Hi guys, I'm the Jacobian Dev and in this video I'll be going through how to add a stacked button to the ribbon in Revit. I'll navigate to the Jacobian Dev tab. Here we have a 4x4 stacked button. Each button changes the view's visual style. I'll travel through the wireframe visual style, the hidden line, the shaded and realistic visual styles. To get started I'll navigate to Visual Studio where I have a stacked button plugin set up. If you're not sure how to set this up, I've added a link in the description for the first video in the channel on how to create a plugin in Revit. I've already gone ahead and created the Jacobian Dev panel in the onStartup function. I'll start by declaring a new add stacked button group function, which requires a ribbon panel as a parameter. In the function, I'll get the assembly path, which is a path to the folder the application is being compiled to by calling the get executing assembly function. I'll then declare the image path URI, which will be the path to the icon image in the resources folder. For the stacked buttons, I'll be using a 16 by 16 icon image. Next, I'll create the bitmap image, passing the URI as a parameter. I'll then declare a push button data variable named wireframe, which requires the button name as the first input, the button text as the second, the third parameter is the assembly path, and finally the method that will be called when the button is clicked. I'll then define the tooltip message that will be displayed when you hover over the button as change visual style to wireframe. I'll also set the wireframe button image to the bitmap image. Next, I'll copy the push button three times. I'll then change the second push button data to hidden line. I'll change the third button to shaded. and I'll change the last button to realistic. To create the stacked button, I'll declare a new iList of type ribbon item named ribbon items A, which calls the panel add stacked items function, which requires the buttons wireframe and hidden line as parameters. I'll declare a second iList of type ribbon item named ribbon items B, which calls the panel add stacked items function which requires the buttons realistic and shaded as parameters. This will create a 2x2 two two stacked button. You can pass three buttons to create a 3x3 three three stacked button. Back in the onStartup function, I'll call the addStackButtonGroup function, pass in the ribbon panel as a parameter. Next, I need to add all the button commands. I'll start by adding the wireframe command. I'll then add the hidden line command. I'll add the shaded command and lastly the realistic command class. Next in the wireframe command, I'll import the Revit DB in UI references. I'll also import the Revit attributes reference. I'll change internal to public and add the external command interface. I'll then implement the interface and return result succeeded. Next, I'll declare a UI application variable named UI app from the command data application. I'll then declare a new document variable from the UI app, active UI document document. Next, I'll get the active view from the document. I'll then declare a new parameter named param, which will be the active view's visual style built in parameter. I'll set the transaction mode to manual. To change the visual style, I'll use an article by the build encoder on how to set the view's visual style. The article goes through all the available visual styles. Back in Visual Studio, I'll declare a new transaction named trans, passing the document as a parameter. I'll start the transaction, passing the transaction name, change visual style as a parameter. I'll set the visual style to wireframe by passing one as a parameter. I'll then commit the transaction. I'll do the same in the hidden line command. I'll then set the visual style to hidden line by passing 2 as a parameter. I'll also do the same for the shaded command, passing 3 as a parameter. 
Lastly, I'll do the same for the realistic command, passing 6 as a parameter. Once that's done, I'll start the project. I'll select always low to load the plugin. I'll open the wall F model. I'll navigate to the Jacobian Div tab and here we have a 2x2 stacked button. I'll toggle the different visual style buttons and as you can see, the visual style changes accordingly. That should be it for this video. I've added all the links in the description. If you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Also remember to like, share and subscribe.